everyone. It is time for a special postseason edition of Death Timers, which means Woo! the only two North American <laughs> casters who have actually won a Death Timers have to fight ah, someone point. other than Freak. So <laughs> at least it's a bit of a challenge. Anyway, because it's the playoffs, uh, we have two changes. First, we're going to debate both of the North American quarterfinals matches. And second, we're only going to get 30 seconds instead of 45 to prove which one of us is better at arguing. Uh, so let's start with the best of five between Cloud9 and TSM. And Kobe, would you like to argue for TSM? Huh? Oh, I'll let TSM Jet take TSM. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you very Just much. That's, so that's nice. natural I'll for take me. Cloud9, then. Okay, you get to do the favorite. C congratulations. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, I'll count you in. You have 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so Cloud9, they have higher KDAs at every single position. Top, mid, jungle, bottom. Uh, and they also have the second highest early game gold leads of any team in North American LCS. Now, this plays into their skirmish style, where they play around Rush and Jensen's mechanical abilities, and this is the perfect thing to highlight TSM's current weakness in their lack of coordination between their team members. TSM have lost a number of games messing up team fights later in the game. Cloud9 can highlight this, forcing TSM into high-pressure decisions that they have to make between objectives and between... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> between objectives and between something else. We, there's no way of knowing. Wow, uh, 30 seconds is okay. so short. you got to get quick with this, man. Okay, so <laughs> other right. TSM... You count me in so I don't cheat and start it. Okay, ready? I'm Three, two, one, go. Of course TSM's going to win. They've been to every single North American <laughs> finals, dude. History repeats itself. Also, TSM has a lot of talent. They actually win lanes. Bjergsen and Doubled have the highest CS differential of 10 of both mid laners and bottom laners in all of the North CS American LCS. CS doesn't win games. That's a stat you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> KDA doesn't matter either. And they have Weldon back. When they had Weldon, they crushed CLG in 29 minutes. He has been out contracting with other teams their mentality has been what's crushing them their communication has been inferior but with weldon a lot of that get fixed and they can use those cs <laughs> differentials to get victory i don't know they have a lot more pressure on them trying to live up to the tsm legacy of winning have you heard him talk you used the, the pressure the best of five double lift used the pressure he made it <laughs> true, all the way to the true, final last year weldon's back the magic weldon's back the match do you believe in miracles uh, anyway that's that team. Oh, you want me to go again? We have to go to again? the next team. Well, <laughs> you, we actually decided before this who was going to pick which team. We did. We was like, I want to choose both favorites. Uh, so you get to go for Team Liquid. I will go for Energy. You get the higher seed. You ready? Ready. Three, two, one, Team Liquid. Uh, now, this matchup, also, there's a huge advantage for my team in the early game because Energy, they have the second worst Your early team. game uh, of any team in the North American LCS. And I think that Team Liquid can take that early game uh, and ride that to victory in the best of five specifically. I think uh, that Loco Doko is one of the most underrated coaches in the North American LCS this year. And he should be able to set up a team comp just structured around playing to their win conditions around Piglet in the bottom lane, who has been a huge carry for Team Liquid. Uh, they don't have to play around Phoenix. And they're going to bring up Gank by Mom and his pocket picks. Pocket picks, keep him in. In your pocket. <laughs> oh, that's so but fast. But his pockets are so deep, man. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm ready. This is easy. Count me in. Okay, Energy. three, two, one, go. GBM has an awesome champion. Pool. Die, right. It's going to work. That, you had that in your segment of why they're going to win a game, and then they won a game. Anyway, <laughs> they, they do have poor gold early game, but the fact that they've been able to manufacture nine wins speaks to a large degree of teamwork and a lot of playmaking. And they do steals. not choke on stage, whereas Team Liquid, everyone keeps talking about how good they are in scrims, but they were a sixth place team for most of the splits, so yes, statistically, they have a lot of advantages there, but they have three rookies on that roster. They do not have the experience of Impact, who's a world champion, and GBM, who's been a veteran for a while. You know who they also have? is Moon on Energy, who is also that wasn't a part rookie. Of my environment. And the other thing is that pocket picks for GBM, Phoenix plays the meta picks. What's better, pocket picks or Azir and Corky, most pocket popular mid -rangers. We're not arguing anymore. We're done. Anyway, you've heard <laughs> what we've had to say. Uh, hit us up with who you think is right. Tweet Kobe at wins. LLD Sports. Use Jatwin if you believe in debate and, you know, honorability well, I think between I men. I pretty well. Who, I had to argue for the underdog, so obviously it was harder. If you also salt. vote for Kobe Wynn, do favorites. Jack. A lot of salt in North America, as usual. Uh, Kobe Wynn, if you, you know, like favorites <laughs> and stuff. Anyway, that'll do it for Death Timers. <laughs>